Is it just a coincidence that we're seeing you got the Lions, you got the Ravens, you got the Eagles. They run the football. They're very successful. Is it just a coincidence, or do you start to see that teams are going to rely on the run a little bit more than we have in previous years? I think so. I think especially how we, we talked about how the season started with the low scoring and not many pass attempts and passing touchdowns. You know, in the last few years, all we've heard about is devalue the running back. We can get a running back anywhere. And we see these teams who have invested in their running backs, how big of a role they're playing. Saquon Barkley, you look at uh, Jacobs in Green Bay, you look at Sonic and Knuckles, Montgomery and Gibbs in Detroit. Like, these teams feature these running backs, and they're coming through. They're playing the big games. They're making a big play. So, yeah, you know, playing in New England for, for 13 years, Coach Belichick used to always say, Running the football is the formula in the playoffs. It's how good teams become championship teams. And I think we're seeing that firsthand with a lot of these good teams in the NFL right now. But also you buy into play action now. Play action really does mean something and makes these quarterbacks even better. Let me start with what Saquon Barkley is doing, because we can make an argument that he's had a better year than Derrick Henry. And I don't think people were going to say that a couple of weeks ago, but it feels like that offense is going through Saquon Barkley in Philadelphia. Yeah, I mean, even how the season started. Remember, he's out in Brazil against Green Bay. Three touchdowns to start off his Eagles career. And all he's done since that is set up everybody else. So no matter what his numbers look like at the end of any game, when you watch the game, he is setting up the throws to A.J. Brown, the throws to Devontae Smith, the Jalen Hurst one-yard runs, you know, on the goal line. So this team has revolved around Saquon Barkley. And you saw last night, as he gets going and in any any given moment in a game, he can make one or two cuts and he's gone. That playmaking ability from the running back position, running and catching the ball, the guy's phenomenal. And, you know, credit to him of all the, the talk about him not being the same. He gets to a new spot and shows his value. And, I mean, arguably could be, you know, the offensive player of the year uh, playing running back the way he's played this year. And in fairness, though, to the Giants, I know they didn't bring him back. I would have brought him back. If I'm bringing Daniel Jones back, I have to have Saquon because Daniel Jones needs Saquon. But Saquon wouldn't be doing this for the Giants this year. He's with the perfect team. Derrick Henry wouldn't be doing this for the Titans or the Cowboys. Yep. He's with the perfect team. So I think, you know, everybody's going to bang on the Giants to say, how could you let him go? They should have let Daniel Jones go, and if you want to let Saquon go, and then do a complete rebuild. I think that's where they made the mistake here. What do you think? Yeah, and I think I think one of the biggest things, and you know, it's a tough situation for them because once you let Hard Knocks in, we get to see everything. And I think the way they value Saquon Barkley, if you if you value a guy around the market and you understand, hey, we might be losing him for this price, and it felt like they thought they would lose him possibly for like $10 million a year, when realistically a year ago they offered him more money than that. So I think if we would have take, took, taken this back a year ago, they would have matched that offer and they would have paid it. But coming into this offseason, they just didn't think anybody else would pay him. And I think that's what stings the Giants fans as you watch hard knocks and them sitting there saying well no one's going to pay him that and then you find out Houston's <laughs> willing Philly's willing and then you're seeing the impact even Joe Mixon what he's doing at Houston you're seeing what these running backs are doing for their teams but then the Giants fans take a breath and realize what you just said Dan even if he was there you might win one or one more game maybe two more games but he wouldn't be the Philadelphia Eagles Saquon Barkley that we're seeing now 